Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Making sure you bring along a lockpick, today's episode we are going to be attempting working up an appetite oh, challenge, oh, which will what also get us the hold my hair challenge as well if you haven't already got it. So what we need to do is, this is a super super long setup for a very small window of opportunity. Uh, it's it's odd how it took like how it takes you so long to set this up um, you have to you can't just poison Sophia you have to actually poison her with the sushi at the restaurant or the bar a little bit um, so what we need to do is we need to go up and we need to get ourselves Jebediah blocks disguise Grabbing this wrench on the way past, we're going to use that to knock out a whole bunch of guards. But essentially what we need to do is we need to follow along the Jebediah block accident kill line all the way, all the way through, but we don't actually complete that. We need to let that play out and then not assassinate her and then she'll start her next rotation. It's so very weird. It's like it's almost 10 minutes of setup. But anyway, enough of my whining. Climb onto this little ledge here and we'll sneak underneath the windows and carry on up to the top le level of this little building. And there's going to be three guards and Jebediah block up here. So our, f our first task is to create a distraction for this guard right in front of us so we're going to turn on this generator and then turn it off again and he's going to wander over and we're just going to take him out and leave his body here you can pop on his disguise if you want and this might make it easier for you but you really don't need to so we'll take him out and now we just need to wait for the guard that's walking to stop his walk and he's going to stand right there he's going to have his back to us so we'll take out Jebediah we'll take him out and then we'll take out his mate standing all the way at the end so I don't know what happened there instead of throwing the wrench at him I just threw it at his feet but I managed to take him out we're not going for a silent assassin or anything on that so not going to worry too much about it. It is super annoying though. I do not know why that happened. But anyway, we'll carry on. So we just need to get rid of, well not get rid of, but hide all these bodies and all the weapons. Because the constant makes his rotation brings him up to this roof. So if you just leave any bodies or a gun lying around, he's going to see it. Go and get a guard. They're going to come over and it's just going to be a nuisance so let's we'll just clean up after ourselves we'll pop on this disguise of Jebediah block on the pile of bodies here and now we're going to head inside and go and find Sophia but what we need to do is we're heading through this door first on a shelf to our left is going to be some rat poison we're going to need to grab that if you have rat poison and it's available to you, you can bring it in with you. Oh look, Sophia's right here. So we just need to talk to her and then just follow her up the stairs. Miss Washington, after due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along then, I'll call a vote at once. Because this is going to be such a long video, I am going to... We just need to follow her now, so what we're going to do is just speed it up until we're all taking a vote. Alright, so once we're in the room with the fireplace, take a seat in Block's chair, and there's going to be a vote. And what we need to do is vote against it. So say no. Nay. Excuse me? You heard me. Nay. Oh, for the love of... Ugh, idiot. Son of a... Blocked. You stupid... Ugh. That's... Four eyes. And one nay. 
Jebediah Block vetoes the motion. This council is adjourned until further notice. Block. A word? Upstairs. Right away, please. Now that we have said no to the vote, Sophia's going to request a, an audience with us upstairs. So we need to just follow her upstairs and she is going to have a big long speech. There's going to be several opportunities for us to take her out and we need to ignore all of them. And once she has finished her speech and we're allowed to leave, we, we will do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the end of just before we're leaving. It's been about two and a half minutes and Sophia's done with us. So now her rotation is going to change. So this is where we can now attempt this challenge. So if we run back down the stairs all the way to the bottom where, the, where there's like those weird snow globe things, um, we need to get ourselves a disguise and it's going to be a waiter's disguise. So we'll just run down there now. Alright, so if we take a left through this door and we turn off this fuse box, that's actually going to create a distraction for us and that's going to bring our required disguise out to us. It's kind of like a Uber Eats. Just kind of order a disguise and here he comes. So we just need to wait here. He's going to wander out. And we are just going to subdue him and pop on his disguise. You don't need to do this quickly, but you do need to do it kind of quickly because Sophia's now on her way down the stairs and we need to get this disguise and poison the sushi before she makes it there. So now we need to walk around behind the bar and blend in. And now we have the opportunity to poison the canapé, the connoisseur, and now we just need to wait. So I am going to skip until she is here. After about a minute, she will wander down the stairs to our right. And what we need to do is we need to hover over her and press X to serve her the food. See how it says serve? I need to make sure that you don't hit the wrong person. Hello. All right, Can I and pop it on. So we'll snack. serve the food to her that we've poisoned and she is going to eat it. Screw it, I could use a pick me up. All right, working up an appetite challenge complete and we can call it there but if you haven't got the hold my hair challenge then we just need to follow her to the bathroom and just drown her in the toilet and that will get the hold my hair challenge and that's both of them complete it has been a pretty long one today guys but it's like I say it's just super annoying how you have to go through that whole setup in order to change her rotation. But we've done it, and now we're gonna drown her in our own vomit. Lovely. So guys, like always, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Zoe Washington.